Hello, I'm Min Xingpang from Professor Jesper Tanner's group. So I will introduce one of our recent project, which is Zubishi's translation for single cell RNA sequencing via transformer. And, and the first uh, manuscript of the, this project have, uh, yeah, have, have shown on the ICML computational uh, biology workshop in 2020 as oral presentation. The title is the representation learning and translation between the mouse and human brain using deep transformer architecture. Okay, and here is the motivation. So, so the purpose is to tackle the atlas level data and utilize transfer learning across species to transfer the information as a prior, prior knowledge. Yeah, and can provide good embeddings for downstream analysis. And we also consider the unsupervised clustering for the single cell RNA sequencing and the data integration. Yeah, so here is the model architecture. So this model is inspired by the birth in the natural language processing. So here is the model architecture and it encodes 20,000 genes. Uh, yeah, just as like the, in the natural language processing, they encode 20 words into uh, 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 embedding representation space. Yeah, so, so the model as input is a single cell data and, and go after the, the linear model they, and, and then go to the transformer encoder and decoder to get a uh, re reconstruction from the noise input. Yeah, so this is the uh, first stage, uh, which is the uh, pre-training stage. So yeah, so the idea is that pre-trained by the reconstructing uh, the noise input. Okay, and here is the second stage. Yeah, and, and yeah, so here in the second stage, we, we, we use an unsupervised uh, learning algorithm to do, to do the mapping as uh, in data integration. Yeah, so the ideas is, yeah, is shown in this figure. Yeah, so assumes that Y and X is two language. And after this mapping, it can separate into three parts. One is Y as the, as the anchor, and the second part is WX, which is the local structure of WX is very similar to the Y. And the outlier part is some, yeah, some words or, or, some, yeah, or some cell types only appear in the language X. Yeah, so the idea is that similar to a language, yeah, we treat the different species as different languages. So different species is likely to have different, yeah, to maintain similar local structures, which is very similar to the language. Okay, here is some, some embedded result on the mouse atlas data set. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so we can see that on the brain data set, uh, in, in the left, left fig, two figure is uh, embedding results. So it shows that different cell types have this similar manifold uh, shape. Yeah, and, and secondly, we have performed some clustering to do some quantification results. Yeah, so it shows that it, uh, our models can preserve some biological information across species. Okay, here is uh, the result of the, our mapping model to get the integration results. So as shown in these figures, we, yeah, so this is very similar to our expand results because it also separate into three parts as we mentioned before. And secondly, we can see that many of, uh, most of the cell types in the down left part is mainly appear in the mouse. Yeah, so it provides some difference analysis for in the species level. Yeah, so here is some the conclusion. So firstly, our transformer model, uh, our experiment shows that the transformers model can capture some species, species uh, specific features, yeah, which very helps for all the uh, transfer learning. Yeah, and secondly, uh, we also show that the unsupervised translation does well in the automatically uh, data integration. Yeah, so that's the result uh, we get so far in this project. Okay, thank you for your attention.